Good morning, everybody. It's been a while since I um, did what I'm doing today, which is waking up at four in the morning to film a video. Um, I was going to film this yesterday while miraculously all three kids were napping at the same time and I couldn't find my planner. I like freaked out. I could not find it. Um, I was like searching all over the house, trying to remember the last time I'd used it. I could have sworn that I had used it in the morning, and it, I did. I used it in the morning, um, and then I lost it between the couch and the rocking chair, and I didn't find it until, like, I don't know, 4 p.m. Um, fortunately, there was nothing super pressing on there, but, like, this is my wallet also, so I definitely needed to find it sooner than later. Uh, I have some errands to run today. Uh, today we are filming a weekly plan with me. We're, yeah, we're, we're sharing. Today I'm sharing a weekly plan with me. Um, this is for next week, so by the time you see... Yeah, this hasn't happened yet. Um, th this week hasn't happened yet, which is not usually how I film my weekly plan plans with me, but um, it was a busy weekend and stuff, so I, I did not get to it to film last week's for this week's video. Uh, if that makes sense. So I am now in insert 28, which is the uh, weekly with faux Dutch door um, dailies, which is a lot of fun to use. And I will show you, if you're not familiar with it, how it works in just a second here. Um, I am not really going with like a consistent color theme for every single week of the month. I did do sort of red, white, and blue stuff on my monthly, and I did that on my weekly last week, which I can show you in a second also. Um, for this week, I'm still using the same color date dots. These are from Planner Kate, um, if you couldn't tell. And um, I'm just kind of leaning right into the blue and only doing like a blue theme for this week. But last week, of course, was the 4th of July. Um, I mean this week as I'm filming it and as you're watching it also. Uh, and so I did red, white, and blue a little bit. So uh, I'm filming this on Wednesday morning. You're watching it on Thursday. Or at least it's coming out on Thursday. There's not a lot of things actually that are super pressing and urgent. I do really do need to wash the baptismal gown. Get that poop on it. Um, but besides like this week I'm focusing on like getting back to school stuff together but other than that um it's pretty i was thinking about putting this washi tape over these headers but i don't actually have anything that can go on top of it so i'm going to use just highlighter because um let's, let's do the light blue i'm just gonna highlighter so i can write over it with pen um I say I'm doing back to school stuff this week. Uh, next week is VBS, so I'm going to have a little bit potentially more leeway to get stuff done because I will have one less child for a few hours. But that is, she is the child who needs the least um, like hands-on looking after. She's four now. She just turned four earlier, or I guess last Saturday. Um, and she spent, like, I don't know, like a good chunk of this yesterday afternoon just in her room playing by herself, um, which is like the dream, I guess. Uh, I guess that doesn't happen for everybody, but she does play independently. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't always share with her sister. And, like, she got a bunch of stuff for her birthday, so all of the cool new toys are exclusively Agnes's. So our poor one-and-a-half-year-old is trying her hardest to listen to us when we tell her, no, you have to ask Manang, oh, that means big sister, you have to ask your big sister if you can play with her toys, and the answer is no, and she's, like, she keeps touching them anyway. She just can't help herself. So I've been spending a lot of my time lately, um, like actively trying to figure out how to spend quality time with three people simultaneously. Um, the baby obviously gets the quality time that he needs um, when we nurse. Yesterday, he 
did have to sort of cry it out in the swing for a little bit, unfortunately, because I was getting some things done, and he, I wasn't able to get to him. I bit, I got myself a canner, because I've got all of these vegetables, um, so I'm actually making shelf-stable pickles. We'll see how they taste. I won't find out for another few weeks, um, but that's... I can't just be holding a baby while there's all this boiling water and time-sensitive stuff going on. Um, and the poor thing, like, actually... I'm, I'm probably opening myself up to your judgment. Um, he actually stopped crying on his own while he was in the swing. But then he got lots of snuggles after that. Um, we're doing a lot of water play in the backyard because it's hot, because it's July, but it's actually, like, super mild for July around here. Of course, I'm not looking forward to, well, August, September, I'll be back in the office at least a few days a week. I'm hoping that they will continue to let me work from home some days, just because gas prices. Um, but I do love the air conditioning in the office, so that might be enough motivation to get me to make the drive. Um, willingly and happily. Okay, lots of highlighter. There we go. And I'm gonna put a little little piece of washi tape there. I don't know what word I was about to use. Spattering of washi tape. I don't know what I meant to say. Oh, we can actually center this design. I think that will work. There we go. And then grab uh, today's washi is brought to you by Wendy's. So this week I'm doing, I think today, <clears throat> later we're going to go shopping for school supplies and, um, and a few groceries because I'm going back to work on August 1st, so I have to get all the back to school stuff done in July. She makes me uh, seem like I'm super on top of things, but it's not exactly the case. I just have to. So, uh, let's see. These headers down here, I'm going to use, let's see, definitely using the watering can for the bottom section. Um, right, like this. Gardens in full swing. I've got tomatoes that are going not too many tomatoes for sandwiches, which is like the goal. Like I've said from the beginning, I wanted to be overwhelmed with tomatoes and cucumbers, and I am. And it's good. Um, so many pickles, able to give them away to friends. They were a big hit at the birthday party. Um, I brought several jars uh, to share at the birthday party with lunch and uh people were able to take like a whole jar home so that's good the, I love these Mad Hatter stickers but they do I do have an issue with them not always being cut easily I probably just need to come on with an exacto knife on some of these because they're not always cut entirely and I'm like ripping them off the page which is not ideal Okay, so I've been using this section just to sort of, I don't know, journal about what I'm bringing in. Um, like the harvest for the day. We've got melons ripening, which is exciting. And, oh, and the ground cherries are produce, producing. They haven't, I haven't harvested any yet. Got a late start on those because they were really tricky to start from seed. I'm really terrible at starting seeds also. Uh, let's see. This is going to take a minute. I guess this is another reason to not use stickers for every header. Yes, no, yes, no, come on. Yeah, this is actually a problem. I don't think 
that worked. The tip of it, the adhesive stuck to the page. The good news about Mad Hatter is they're super affordable. So there's that. Could be worth the frustration sometimes. All right, I'm going to put dinner on this guy. So I can at least get my dinner plans thought about in the morning. Um, currently have so much leftover fried chicken because I bought a hundred pieces of fried chicken to feed 30, I think it turned out be, to be like 31 people at the party. So we ended up with a lot of leftover chicken, which was the point. I wanted to make sure I had plenty. Um, and it's actually pretty good. We got it from the grocery store because my silly little Filipino four-year-old wanted a uh, Jollibee. <laughs> but that is uh, more expensive than it's worth for a party. I think she just likes the mascot. She even said so, so as much as that. But Albertson's chicken doesn't have a bee. I'm like, yeah, okay. It was actually very tasty. Okay, I pulled out a bunch of different headers um, because I do really like the look of, like, actually the sticker, you know, with the, the black on the white background and all that. But the thing that I've been using these two for this week, and when I say using, I've set it up, but I, I haven't made a point of, like, acting on it super well, but I need to, is... Um, quality time with the girls because like I was saying they um, they need it like actively scheduled because there's just it's only so much of me to go around they've been acting out sometimes when they don't get enough snuggles um, Bridget who's uh, 21 months she'll say oh put Dominic in the bouncer like not hold me mommy but set down my brother um, which is sweet I think Agnes for the first time expressed a desire to not have the baby which she does like she she didn't mean it but because she's very very sweet with him but she was frustrated because I couldn't do something for her and like I like I knew this was a thing but I, I guess I didn't realize how big of a thing it was. Um, that they, they really need quality time. So I'm just going to make a point of trying to at least do one like activity um, with each of them every day. You know, read a book together or just like have a conversation one-on-one -on -one or... Um, when my husband's around, I'm going to take one out for an errand or something. It's like yesterday, I did actually. We read a book together. Uh, if you give a moose a muffin, which is good because then we returned it to the library. All right. So that's, that's that. Let's use the light blue pen to mark off some events. I know I've got, I, I remember what time it is, it's 8.30 to noon, I double checked, because a lot, I've been putting the times of things just in my Google Calendar, so like I said, it's VBS, um, I put here VBS, just VBS, and I did highlight it, I don't even know if you can see along the bottom in light blue, um, the days, but then the actual time is uh in my phone but it's it's 8 30 to noon like i said i checked last night so that i would be filming this this morning and not have to i leave my phone in the other room 
um, instead of most times, I leave my phone in the other room when I'm filming instead of turning on Do Not Disturb. Oh yeah. Coffee. All right. Fair registration on the 13th. That's Tuesday? No, Wednesday? That's Wednesday. All right. Now I forget. All right, so I'm gonna check. Oh no, you have to first thing on Thursday, okay. So I can just put fair registration. I believe that goes until the afternoon. So you sign up online with what you're going to bring. This is the county fair. Um, so I'm going to go out to the garden and check what I have that's right, that looks good, that I can sign up for. And then I would bring it to the fairgrounds Thursday morning, like early, before VBS, I think. I think it has to be there before like 7.30 or something like that. Um, and then you get a free ticket to go into the fair that that day. It's Wednesday or Thursday because like it's that's when it's open during the week. This is the weekend, so it's they give you the weekday ticket. Um, most weeks of the fair, uh, registration is on Tuesday, drop-offs on Wednesday, but this is the first week of the fair. This is the first day of the fair. So if there's anything, I've been kind of looking forward to trying this out. Um, shout out to, she doesn't watch my videos, shout out to um, Steady As She Grows, who is another local YouTuber who has a garden, but hers is about her garden. Anyway, uh, she inspired me because she did videos sort of vlogging the experience of bringing stuff to the Orange County Fair, and um, it was pretty cool to see how it was done, and it made it feel a lot less intimidating. Um, to, you know, read through all of the guidelines and everything. And I'm going to try it because I think it would be fun. I don't expect to win anything. Um, let's see. That's it for this week. I got the uniform done. Yeah, school supplies. This, this is a thing. I do, I, if I had more of these boxes, I would do, uh, Maybe I should next week use one line for each girl and have a header for just quality time. That might work. And then have a box for chores. I've been trying to do like some cleaning every day. I've been trying to get back into the organized mum method, which I never really got to work for me, but I'm trying it again while I went home. Uh, it's still tricky though, because I'm not actually following it just yet. Everything feels a little overwhelming when, you know, you're You've got three little kids. Um, I'm not going to put a lot of stuff on my to-do list in today's video because, like I said, I'm filming this in advance. Um, it's only Wednesday. Um, I should be able to get all this stuff done this week. Um, and it, like I said, it's it's not a lot of like tasks, fortunately. Um, the big projects were like planning for the uh, birthday party. And that's over with now. Um... This week is VBS, but that's like, I just have to drop her off in the morning and pick her up in the afternoon. Um, so there's probably a couple more events. I think, like I, I put summer fun on one of these and I think I'll do that again. Yeah, Comic-Con also, because that's next week, the 20th it starts. So I just want to be ready for that, at least packed. Um, Comic-Con, uh, summer fun, and then I don't know, something else. Uh, I want to make sure to do some things that are, you know, water table, whatever, go to parks. You should go for like a walk or something. Because um, I should have all of the back to school stuff done by the end of this week. If we do all the shopping today and then I have to just like pack the, uh, the earthquake kit and I already ordered the uniform. So maybe find another project to focus on. Um, Maybe, maybe something cleaning, maybe something fun. I don't know. I actually started playing a video game, which I haven't done in a while. So that was, that's fun. Um, but keep working on that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the weekend's or the week's spread for next week. Uh, monochrome. Well, I guess 
to black and blue or two different chromes. There you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, you can check out a link to this in the, oh, I didn't show you actually how it works. You fold it over. Uh, I'll show you it this week. It's called a faux Dutch door because it doesn't, I think a Dutch door is actually like when you cut it in the middle. Um, you go like this. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you have not already been familiar with this insert, it's a lot of fun. Um, I do like using it for the whole weekly spread. It gives you lots of daily space and a nice accessible weekly to-do list. So that's the benefit there. Um, if you like that, there's a link in the description. It's insert28 at gainsheplans.com. I'll see you guys in the next video if you subscribe. So do that and uh, have a good week, guys. Bye. Thank you.